Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the life-changing five-second rule. So this rule is based on a novel by Mel Robbins and the name of the book is The Five-Second Rule, okay? So we're going to begin with a quote by Mel Robbins which says, you can't control how you feel but you can always choose how you act. So basically what is the five-second rule? So the rule states that if you have an impulse to act on a goal, you must physically move within five seconds or your brain will kill the idea. So basically what we mean is if you know you need to get up and maybe start studying, then start moving within five seconds. Because if you take longer than that, your brain will kill the idea and you may end up not doing anything. So she says that because, because when you physically move, your brain starts to build new habits. When you do something you're not used to doing, you're in the act of building new habits and erasing existing ones. So the five second rule is simple. If you have an instinct to act on a goal, you must physically move within five seconds or your brain will kill it. So take not physically move, okay? The moment you feel an instinct or a desire to act on a goal or a commitment, use the rule. So immediately you think of something you need to do, just start counting five, four, three, two, one. As soon as you say one, just get up and move towards the action. So basically what she says is there's a window that exists between the moment you have an instinct to change and your mind killing it. So you guessed it right. It's a five second window and it exists for everyone. So if you do not take action on your instinct to change, you will stay stagnant and you will not change. But if you do one simple thing, you can prevent your mind from working against you. You can start the momentum before the barrage of thoughts and excuses hit you at full force. So what do you do? You just start counting backwards to yourself. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So the counting will focus you on the goal or commitment and distract you from the worries, thoughts, and excuses in your mind. So she says that as soon as you reach one, push yourself to move. This is how you push yourself to do the hard stuff, the work that you don't feel like doing or you're scared of doing or you're avoiding. That's it. So five seconds is all it takes. If you don't act on an instinct within the five second window, that's it, you're not doing it. So first, the moment you have an instinct. So what is an instinct? So that's basically any urge, impulse, pull, or knowing that you should or should not do something because you can feel it in your heart and gut. So in those small five second moments, this wisdom bubbles up inside of you. So your instincts are these urges. They are the knowing that you should do something even if you don't feel like doing it. So maybe an instinct can be, you know, the urge that you need to wake up even if you don't feel like doing it. So five, four, three, two, one, wake up. So the second element of the rule that is critical for you to understand is that it's not just about acting on any instinct. It's an instinct that's tied to a goal. So for example, you might have an instinct that like get off of the couch and go for a run. So in this case, if you act on this instinct, you bring yourself one step closer to your dream of transforming your health. Even though we have these greater goals, it's so simple to brush off the actions that will lead us towards achieving these things. So do you know what they can do? You first start identifying those good instincts that will lead you towards your goals. So first you need to know what instincts should I follow. Third, so you must push yourself. So the rule is basically about pushing yourself even when you don't want to. It's all about taking control of your own life, one push at a time. So I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. You're, you're comfortable. You're doing the same old thing you always do, even if you want to transform your life. The moment comes, you feel the instinct. You know it's tied to a goal. Right now, it's a window, a window of opportunity. So your brain wants to shut this instinct down. It's going to do it. But in this moment, you can take control. So you know what you need to do. You know that you want to change your life and move towards your goals. So the five second rule is simple. It's very simple. So it's just counting, but it's not easy. So it's hard to push yourself. If you want to change, it's something you must do. Must, okay? And the rule makes it easier. Just start your countdown. Push yourself to start at five and just start counting. That's it. Count down five, four, three, two, one, go. So fourth is to move within five seconds. So physical movement is the key. All you need to do is move in the direction of your instinct. If you do not take physical action within five seconds, your brain will kill the instinct. 
five or your brain will kill it if you don't physically move within five seconds your mind will kill your dreams so basically how you need to look at it is your brain is like an overproductive irrational helicopter parent it thinks it's keeping you safe when in fact it is keeping you from growing as a person stretching yourself in your business and fully experiencing life so the five second rule is a way to outsmart your brain by changing hesitation into action so before you doubt it try it out so this is a call that creates massive change and those five second windows add up so i promise it changed my life and it changed the lives of over 100,000 who have written to her about the awesome effects the rule has created in their own lives so in almost any situation there is an application for the rule so you should try it try it and comment and tell us how how it has worked for you, if it has made any difference or not. Thank you.